All right. So I got to do some explaining beforehand. Let me move the mic up a bit. Now I said at the end of the Under the Gungeon video last week that I was going to do a little work off camera to uh, try to get better before I uh, made any more videos of that. Well, I did a couple more hours of it and uh, never beat any of the first bosses. Even went from keyboard to controller, any of that stuff. Never got anywhere. Give me a sec. Hmm. And instead of just showing like non-stop nine minutes videos of me dying over and over again to the first boss, I decided for everyone's sake, I'm going to do something, I guess, different as I am right now. And that is uh, playing some Darkest Dungeon. Kind of a punishment, I guess you could say, for me doing so bad in Enter the Gungeon. But at least this punishment in this game will be a bit different. I'm going to turn this off because I hear it's awful and it's meant for pros in the game. And I'm not. I, all the other stuff's in. You know, okay. And I am going to do Radiant just because I'm bad. But... Again, this is still masochistic, I guess these games are. So I'm just going to call it Darkest Disco. It's the disco. It's a dark disco. And uh, yeah, uh, if you haven't seen this game before, this is a complete... Um, I'm going to skip the intro just because um, it is a one of those masochistic things again in the first tutorial a little bit i've done this a bunch of times and if you haven't seen it yes this, this game's been out for a while so you'll have to excuse me if i'm just gonna blast through it i do have subtitles on so i'm only doing this just i guess to i don't know prove i'm doing it i mean i don't know why i have to but i'm just from the start we're gonna do this so the little intro bit and the first quest i'll just get those out of the way in the first uh video here now I have been thinking, because I do enjoy this game a bit, as bad as I am at it, uh, maybe I'll do more than just two episodes a week. I don't know yet. But for now, I'm going to, uh, yeah, 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 all right. See, I wish there was a way just to skip have run up this part. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. But this guy is the best narrator in the world. Oh, it's just so great. It's so overly dramatic. So, this is how the game works. You take turns from speed, he's gonna bleed. I'm just hoping that I don't take too much damage and uh, end up getting screwed because there have been times when I played this game where I've either died or uh, been severely stressed out in the first uh, game, round, whatever you want. The tutorial, it, 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 it doesn't mess around. Especially if they happen to get lucky on rolls when they do damage to you. Or if we get surprised, which didn't happen. We have been getting... A lot of the times I've dodged stuff. Didn't that time, so I gotta hack my way through this giant oaf. Uh, see if I can't stun. If you see mouse over, it shows you all the resistances. It's a 50-50 chance for the stun to land. Let's give it a shot. Nice. Ooh, I got a buff off that for uh, protection. Yeah, he's stunned through that round, so I get free round of not being hit by him. I'm going to keep trying to stack the bleed. It does stack, so he's going to get four damage for three rounds, so he is eventually going to die. Nice, got to dodge, but I still can't damage anybody in the back. Oh, thankfully. Yeah, it, it, it sets it up great with, like, the music. It's, oh, get just got enough. And now when you kill people, there's corpses on the ground, and it'll eventually go away. But this guy doesn't have any abilities. Two dodges in a row. He doesn't have any abilities to actually get past, because this guy's huge. He takes up two spots, and he doesn't have any abilities that go to the third spot, but this guy's range. So I'm going to set him up with a buff for the next round. And I guess he's just going to beat on a corpse. I mean, what else is he going to do? And he's going to go first because he's... Oh, he isn't going to go first. All right, so let's see if I can... Oh, 5 to 10 damage. I had a chance. Okay, I got some damage on that one. No stress on this uh, first run of it. Now I've cleared the body. He comes zooming to the front. 
does not get to go first, and now he's dead. Nice. Take it all. Hooray, it's done. Now every time I do this, I'm going to continue adventuring. This is always trapped. So I'm going to try it, see if it's trapped again. Yep. But since it's the end of the... Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Alright, yep, yep, I got... Alright, and then we've got ourselves a potential for shitty... Oh, deadly, nice. I mean, it would have been nicer to have it on him. But what are you going to do? Can rename people? I probably will. Mm. Once tutorial's done. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet. Squalid hamlet. Alright. They are yours now. So you got little I'm gonna click on everything just to get it out of the way. Yes, you get like stabs. So this is where dead people go. He's laughing at me as they're dead. He's he's a dick. This videos. Um I don't have money for any of these trinkets. All of these it's like there's no positives. There's always like it's a plus or minus thing, so I don't know, comments crash attracted opportunists. I don't know what this is, but I am not touching that for a while. What I am gonna do is go to the wagon, pick up Okay, nice. I would have liked to have had incision and maybe not this, but this one's good. So I've got you. And it would be sucky if you didn't have any heals. You have one of the heals. You don't have the group heal. I'm gonna have to uh fix that. I got a bad roll on that uh, healer, so I'm going to upgrade this to get more potential uh, people once this next uh, round of fights is done. But more often than not, I'm just going to get like two more range people, and then these two are going to have to go again, and they're going to get stressed out. It's 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 all about stress management and fight management, but that's all I can do for now, so let's, uh, let's go and bark. Western pants, yeah, yeah, party, so ruins are the only thing available right now, and again, uh, drag you, you're a back person, and you're going to be up here, I guess the party's called Red Hook, I have a potential for move stone, not that useful for me, uh, provisions, yeah, I need thingies, so we're gonna go with nine food, and I'm going to go with Seven torches, two shovels. Um, bleed chance. Uh, we're going to some place that doesn't have. It has more bleed than anything else, and a key. Now we go on the fight. This is the other tutorial mission they always do. Fighting a bunch of human, and as I crack my knuckles, so I'm getting serious. Again, this game, it's great. It's you got to go into it knowing that people are going to die. It's just kind of how the game goes. I have to explore 90% of the rooms, which means like all but one of these rooms. I got to keep the light meter up here. I usually like to have it up here. I always forget there's a torch to start with. So now I have more torches than I need, but I always try to keep it above that bar. Uh, torch. There we go. Because you get scouting, surprising other monsters when you fight. Did not get a surprise this time, but you see this does blight and they've only got 10% blight resistance. And it does quite a five damage for three rounds. That is so overpowered. Uh, let's shoot you guys a bunch and you missed. Son of a bitch. Um, I, you, you're going to be the healer, but you need to be able to uh, do more healing than the damage. He has bonus against undead, and you're dead. That's how quickly some of these can go. Granted, I've done this first mission quite a bit. You'll see how quickly things can go awry. Because you can kind of, like, iron out how the, uh... The, the beginning of the game starts. Oh, uh, yeah, let's... Remember, I gotta click the shove, otherwise he does it manually. Preventing passage. This narrator's just got such a great voice. Yeah, God, we got surprised. It's such a low chance of that happening. Please pull me to the front. Please pull me to the front. Just as good. You cannot heal in that position. All right, what can you do? End of light, bash. You got unholy damage buff. This does what? Two to four. And increases the damage you do on unholy. I'd rather roll the chance of killing. Yeah, good job, lady. Oh, let's poison. 
he can at least tack, I think, from the third slot, so... That's a pretty good spread of damage there. He's dead real quick. And uh, let's just wipe both of you out now. Nice. Really sucks that I got the... Uh, nice. I got the uh, surprise on me, even though we were at like, max surprise. This is handy. Everyone go back to default positions. Turn the light on. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I like how this guy just uses like ten dollar words for ten cent sentences. So nice. You can see they're starting to stack up a little bit of stress. To a, you get to a hundred, then you get like tested, and either a good or a bad thing can happen. More often than not, it's a bad thing, but there is potential for good or bad once you get to 200 stress I think you just explode in fear you like die and this game really can get off the rails when one person gets stressed and he starts yelling at everybody else on the team and then it just causes badness so I gotta kill stress is bad always kill stress first Ooh, getting lucky with dodges here though well, that wasn't so lucky really want to kill you in the back so I'm going to make sure, let's see, that is a 20%, got the Blight, 4 damage, you are dead, so I can ignore you. Um, I'm just going to kill you. Nope, low roll. Blanket Fire can do the rest. Let's just, uh, 1 damage. Good job. Well, Blanket Fire should, there we go, kill both of them in the back. You got debuffed. Ooh, got chunked. And I'm bleeding. Great. All right. Now this uh, just gives damage and speed. So I'm going to buff you. And you just, I guess, do a little damage. I really need to get you the better heal. Yeah, yeah, you're bleeding. So I'm going to get rid of the bandage. There, you're cured now. All right. Just to start hacking. Ooh. That was a pretty strong hit. Alright, so this one, if I give it a key... There's some things I remember from the last time I played this, so... Well, we're gonna go this way. Um... Yeah. Again, if you don't know anything about this game... Oh, there's a dodge the trap. I got super lucky. I have not scouted yet. I have not been very fortunate with that. may we find victory. No fights here. I'm gonna go to the next room. Check that pack. Got that loot. Again, okay, let's uh, shift click. We don't need this much food. We're going to have to eat real quick like because again, they do that in this game. We're gonna fight. Yeah, eat the food. No fight, all right. I think there's one, nothing here. No scout chance either. All right. Again, light. Glad I always bring two shovels for this. Granted, they give you one if I remembered, but I don't. Okay, this little bastard goes for. Ooh, surprise! Nice. That is super important. Uh, I gotta plague you guys in the back. All right, you got blighted. You're gonna get. You have to die. Seven damage. Four damage, okay, you're dead, I can ignore you now. All right, this does bonus damage to undead, I believe, and you missed. Apparently, skeletons can't read. Um, hmm. Let's dump you here. Give you the debuff for less dodge. Don't move me, don't move me, don't move me, don't. Thank you. All right, he's dead, good. That stress I did not want to deal with. And when they die to a dot, their body disappears. That's handy. That's a lot of damage. Not been critted yet, thankfully. Although, he's going to need to heal. Uh, let's start. Okay, got the high roll on that. Nice. All right, start healing. The only thing that rolls over between other fights is stress. So I got to make sure stress stays as low as possible. 
let's start whittling away at your health because you got such low blight and that blight does so much damage. Don't move. Nice. Alright, so let's try again. Jesus. Double whiffs. Does not go first. Um, you do a lot of damage to undead, so I'm going to boost your speed and damage. Um, they're poking away. It's such a useless... I don't like illumination all that much. Um... This may be enough to get you to kill both of them. Got one. He's dead. Nice. All right. That's the end. Take everything. Okay. Well, I don't need you. That's the wrong button. Take that. I don't need the medicinal. We are opening this chest with a key. And we got some stuff. Okay, uh, lights we don't need, and by lights I mean torch, I keep hitting the wrong button, take that, nice. Tutorial mission done, that's about as smooth as those can go, and probably for all the rest of the fights I'm going to do, it's going to go way wor more worse than this. And, oh, paranoia, obsessed with the paranormal, that's... That's terrible, that is fucking awful. Stress heal received in brothel. Like, good for you. Ah, uh, this is bad. Bad roll on fading. I gotta figure out how to get rid of that. In time, you will know the tragic extent, extent of my failings. Oh boy. All right. So now we've got stress relief. Been dusted. The fuse set straight. All right. So calls to the faithful. I don't think I'm. Oh, you, fucking. You just had to be in there, didn't you? Uh, tavern. I need to find a way to get rid of fading. Um, but I'm not going to buff any of this yet. We need more people. Who are the people we have? Leper. You got one ability. Hmm. Purge is useful, I guess. I will take you. I'm not happy with it. You've got a better chance. Curious. Uh, point blank would have been good, but you, this, this is handy. I think I like this. I may get rid of you now. Antiquarian, huh? What the fuck's an antiquarian? Accuracy, heal. You got some buffs here. Hmm. I've never seen this one before. I mean, I haven't played in a while, so. What buffs can we get here? I don't need to worry about the barracks yet. I can't unlock you yet. Um, I need to find... Okay. So the healer can't go on the next one. I'm going to try to... Get rid of your uh, issue. You are... Going to... Get rid of the little stress you have. So, I'm thinking these four down here are going to go. And we'll do that next episode. Alright, so the first one's always easy. It's just, after this, it's going to get worse. Because now I'm kind of like just relying on my own ability. And it's never good. But thank you all for watching again. Uh, I am thinking about extending this out to more than just two episodes a week. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and we will see you back on Thursday, and if it's well received, oh, maybe this will be, the next episode will be sooner, I don't know, just have to go and wait and let me know. Thank you all for watching though, and we'll see you next time.